My name is Asit Khan. I am from Chikmanglo. So I am a five-time national champion in rallies. Good morning, everybody. So I'm here at the Big Rock Dirt Park for a uh, Ace of Dirt competition uh, here to cheer for our man Mr. Asad Khan. <laughs> now disclaimer, I don't know a thing about racing, uh, about the lap times and all that stuff. I don't know anything about it, but it sure hell is fun to watch. Sit back, enjoy this ride and enjoy all the shots. First up, the riders with their motorcycles all lined up for the qualifier round. Competition number 25! You have to be there to the finish line to be a winner. In this round, they get to test out the track, prepare and warm up for the heats and the finals. As the mud pie section got a little too difficult for the riders, a JCB was brought in to level up a few areas. Competition number 43. After the qualifier round, it was now time for the heats of the pre-finals. Ready, set, go. But we have our warrior. Competition number 44. Asad Khan. Come on, Asad. You can do it. Come on people, we gotta cheer for these riders over here. That is uh, competition number 40 over here. Shiva. Asad Bhai was leading in the second position until his front wheel got entangled in a toe strap. He lost some time and position till his team could cut loose the strap. Nevertheless, he caught up and qualified for the finals. Over here, but look at this guy over here. He's at the number 36 from Nazis. As we see, over here. Heat 2 and heat 3. His motorcycle radiator suffered some damage heat during one, the heat. Heat 2 and heat 3, please. While the mechanic was fixing the motorcycle, with the help of his team, he was getting ready for the finals. We have reached the stage and completing six laps of this grueling track at Big Rock. Riders who qualified in the heats lined up for the finals.
after a grueling tough race asad bhai finished 9th overall apart from the prices and position these riders gained huge respect from people like me who saw an enduro race for the first time the insanely tough and physically challenging obstacle filled track is no match for the dedication and preparedness these riders have as a student i felt so proud of my teacher and his team for the dedication and passion towards the sport hats off to all the riders you guys are incredible especially you asad bhai a big salute Peru and Sandra from Spain finished first and second respectively and Shardul finished third. A big round of applause for the champions. Yeah. A few words from our teacher himself. So this is like I said this is my second time in Ace of Dirt and the great thing is they were international athletes as well so it was good competition you could learn a lot from them so it was it was always great coming back there uh, a lot of people give up even before they started because uh, uh, this event uh, i mean you need a lot of uh, strength a lot of uh, uh, i would say concentration patience that's that's the key for this event you know that's that's something that uh, we all need to develop to finish this kind of event so oh, it's definitely important to have these kind of events because uh, we see international talents i mean uh, they start riding at a very young age and they get to uh, do different uh, disciplines of motorsport you know one of one being the enduro cross which is which helps in uh, a great uh, control on the bike a great uh, i mean uh, you, you just learn to you know ride uh, thoroughly you get to know your machine it's, it's equally important to understand your machine in these kind of uh, uh, enduro cross so it's really important to I have more of these kind of events in India. Uh we I'm glad that the whole trend is uh, I mean growing now because the, the sport has been recognized by the Indian government itself and uh, uh, you know we are working working hard everyone's working hard towards uh, making it a uh, uh, making the sport grow. So really happy how the things are shaping up but uh, I think it's high time the people come out and support you know the sponsors basically which is most uh, much needed. Uh, it's good hoping i mean these kind of events uh, that happens once in a year but we just hope that it happens more often which helps us uh, get sponsors get to get the exposure basically yeah looking forward to more of it coming guys thank you so much